my relationship with my body, I would say that, you know, prior to like, I kind of judged, I've been known to judge my body a lot, to judge the shape of my body, um, to judge my eating habits or feel guilty about what I, what I eat and what I don't eat or, you know, how much I exercise and don't exercise. And I think looking at things through the Ayurvedic lens, I think I was able to accept that, okay, this is the shape that my body is in because this is, you know, this particular prakriti or that's how I was born. So this is my body shape because these are the elements that are predominant in my body. And that gave me like a different lens for accepting my body. Before I started eating more Ayurvedically and doing the practices, like I would say that I had perpetual bloating and gas. Like I was constantly feeling discomfort and like I could never really eat out or eat, you know, without having some type of you know, flatulence. And it's really, I saw the change in that, like overall change in my digestion. Um, I would also say that I had clarity, like I was less foggy headed. Um, my meditation was deeper in the morning. Like it was easier to get into that deep place. Um, yeah, there are so many different benefits, but I would say those are the three things that I really, really noticed. And I, I had a rhythm in my day too. And that was really nice. What was the most impactful aspect of the course for you? I think the pace that it went was very impactful. I think it didn't ever feel like it was forced or like too much um, at a time. It felt like very manageable, you know, like it was really gentle. I like that. Like, I don't like to feel like you know, I'm being shoved down the throat with information and it just felt gentle and like it moved from one thing to the other really gradually. And I really like the way it makes Ayurveda accessible. I, I wanna tell people that, you know, people are wondering if they should do this course and if they're curious about Ayurveda, then they should do it because it's, it really makes a difference when you have a loving presence kind of gently guiding you through these practices, you know, to gently watching you through it. And I keep using the word gentle, but that's, that's, <laughs> that's what I feel because you're so gentle with how you bring it into people's lives. And it just feels very accessible and sweet and nurturing. So 